Introducing the Portable Panel Fabrication Machine, Panel Max CM10. The CM10's heavy duty transport case contains the drive unit, tools, router unit, a 90 degree bit, as well as the track extension, the saw unit adhesive, parallel guides, as well as a multi blade set for creating radius corners are optional. Always wear ear and eye protection when operating the machine. Gloves are also recommended. Remove the set screws from the packaging and finger tighten them into the underside of the guide track. Now insert the track extension and tighten the set screws. The standard laser set consists of two laser modules. One attaches to the end of the track and the other attaches to the milling unit. To change the laser unit battery, first turn the laser off, then remove the protective cover. Make sure the battery is replaced in the right direction. Replace the protective cover. One 90 degree bit comes with the milling unit, but many other profiles are available. The 90 degree bit comes pre-installed, but you can install any bit that you need for the job. Slide the bit into the collet at the base of the router unit. Secure the bit in place using the tools provided. Use a piece of scrap material to adjust for depth. Screw down the depth stop. Set the router unit onto the guide track. Tighten it down and then plug it in. Then attach the vacuum hose and you are ready to go. Push the button on the side of the handle to turn the milling unit on. The forward and back control to advance and reverse the router unit. Release the button to turn off the milling unit. Depending on your needs, you can use the parallel guides or simply use a tape measure to set your alignment. Align the CM10 to your marks. Lock the router depth down and start up the milling unit and make your cuts. Finished. Now you can fold the gypsum along the routed channels. Use the special corner router bit to create a reinforced edge. With this router bit you can create a channel for a corner reinforcing spline. The reinforcing spline protects corners against damage. To install the saw blade, use the tools provided to remove the screws securing the cover plate. Then set in the saw blade. Make sure the blade rotation is correct and is seated properly. Then install the nut. Press the locking pin down to secure the blade. Tighten the blade nut. Then reattach the cover plate. Use the depth guide to set cutting depth up to 1.7 inches. Set the saw unit onto the guide track. Tighten it down, then plug it in. Attach the vacuum hose and the saw is ready to operate. Depending on your needs, you can cut up to three sheets of 5 8 inch material. With CM10, you can cut other materials such as OSB, pressed wood, and other wood-based materials. To create radius corners, replace the single saw blade with the multi-blade unit. The multi-blade unit will make four parallel cuts at a time. The number of cuts you make depends on the desired radius. Please study the operator's manual before operating CM10. It contains technical information, safety instructions, cautions, and other important information. Panel Max CM10, a drywall hanging game changer.